There is nothing like a fresh baked pie. Many of you probably remember your grandmas and moms making them, but it seems it's become a lost art. I'm ready to bring it back with this simple and great pie crust recipe. You're going to love this crust because it's always flaky and tender and always amazing. I'm hoping that pie becomes the norm when you have this recipe and you start making it all the time. To start, you just need to place three quarter cup of flour, two tablespoons of sugar, about a half a teaspoon of salt, and a food processor. A food processor makes all the difference with this and is so quick and easy. Pulse it lightly for about five seconds or five pulses, just to incorporate the dry ingredients together. Scatter six tablespoons of butter cut into about a quarter inch pieces on top of the flour mixture. I pre-freeze my butter. This just ensures a flaky and tender crust. Also sprinkle on top four tablespoons of vegetable shortening. I prefer to use lard, but if you're opposed to using lard, use vegetable shortening. It's readily available in any store. I also make sure to pre-freeze my lard. Both the butter and lard get frozen for about 10 to 15 minutes before. Close the lid and pulse until it gets a little bit of uneven clumps around it, kind of like a coarse cornmeal. This will be about four to six pulses, depending on how long you pulse for. Open your food processor and add the remaining half cup of flour on top. Pulse for a remaining 10 seconds until you get an even mixture and there's no loose flour just sitting in the bowl. Don't worry, it won't come together as a dough yet. Turn the dough out into a big bowl. This is when you sprinkle on two tablespoons of ice water, which I always just keep prepared. I have a couple ice cubes and some water and just pour it right out of there and two tablespoons of ice cold vodka. I know vodka sounds like an odd addition, but that's what makes this crust extra special. As the crust bakes in the oven, the vodka bakes out and you're only left with the water. It's an amazing way to have a flakier crust, but still have the liquid in it when you're wanting to roll it out so it doesn't just break apart. Work the dough together with a spatula or fork until it just loosely forms. Pour it out onto some cellophane or wax paper and work it together with your hands to form a nice disc, about six inches roughly. Don't worry if you think your dough is a little crumbly. It will come together. Bring the sides of your plastic wrap or parchment paper up and push the dough together. You'll notice this is how it creates a nice dough. Wrap it up tightly and refrigerate it for at least an hour before you roll it out. Notice all the bits of shortening and butter that you can see. Once your pie crust is chilled, it's time to roll it out. This kind of scares some people because sometimes pie crust can be dry or too wet and they don't roll out well. I think you're gonna like this one because it's great for rolling out. You don't have to worry about using too much flour because there's plenty of liquid in it to hold it when you roll it out. I just start by using a pie mat. This is any type of silicone mat that's usually designed to roll out crusts or baked items on. And I sprinkle it with flour, maybe starting with about a tablespoon, and then as you need it, you can always add more. I also sprinkle the top with just a little flour so it doesn't stick to the rolling pin. Start from the middle of your disc and work out in a circular motion. The best thing to remember about rolling out pie crust is to always keep the crust moving. Always go from the middle out so you don't get a big hunk of dough in the middle. And as you turn it, just always be working the dough out so you get an even rolled out dough. If you get a little hole or crack somewhere, don't have any fear. You can just press it together. And if you think it's getting too soft, you can always just put it back in the fridge for a little bit. This crust fits a nine inch pie. If you're also wanting a double crust, a crust that goes over the top of the pie, just make sure to double the recipe and break it into two discs and then roll each out separately. I always just check as I'm rolling out and make sure it's gonna fit the pie by turning the pie pan upside down, placing it on top and seeing if I have enough. I like at least one to two inches extra. This allows for a nice crust in the end. Using my rolling pin and bench scraper, I flip the crust onto the rolling pin and then enable to roll it up 
and roll it right out into the pie shell. Gently work the dough down into the pan. And then using a the scissors, I cut off any extra pie dough. I leave about an inch that I turn under. Fold under the edges. This gives you that good thick crust that's easy to crimp and looks beautiful. And then crimp however you like. I use my forefinger, my thumb, and my index finger on my other hand to go around the whole thing making indentions. There's a lot of different ways, and if you have your own way, use it. When I make pie, I usually always make at least two crusts because they freeze beautifully and keep for up to three months in the freezer. This way, once you have a crust ready to go, pie really only takes a matter of minutes to put together. After you're done crimping, either put it in the freezer or fridge, bake your pie, and you're ready to go. I think you're going to find that once you master this crust recipe, you're going to be using this all the time. And hopefully, pie becomes not a lost art, but your own art that everyone is going to enjoy. Happy baking.